The camera phone has become very useful for general purpose photography, and some high-end models can even come close to professional level photography. But so many look so similar, which ones are actually built well and have the features that will match your needs? In this video, we break down the top 5 camera phones on the market this year based on performance and situations they'll be used in. So whether you're looking for a budget camera phone that takes great photos, or a top-of-the-line model with a versatile camera array, or just want to find out what the best option is for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First, we have the Google Pixel 4a, our pick for best budget camera phone under $400. The camera in the Pixel 4a is the same as the one used in the Pixel 5, but comes at almost half the price and offers great dynamic range and consistently ranks among the best budget camera phones you can buy. The Pixel 4a forgoes the telephoto lens found on the Pixel 4 and 4XL models, offering a single 12.2 megapixel standard array 1 over 2.55 inch sensor. The standard wide 27mm equivalent lens features a large f1.7 aperture and comes equipped with dual pixel phase detection autofocus and optical image stabilization. Google's computational photography algorithms offer bokeh simulation in portrait mode, even though there's no dedicated depth sensor, and there's an LED flash for night portraits. For video, the Pixel 4a captures 4K video at 30fps or at 1080p with a variable 30 or 60fps frame rate and uses gyroscope-enabled electronic image stabilization. For still photography, you'll get accurate exposures and excellent color in most conditions, and the autofocus is also fast and accurate. The Pixel 4a is also quite good in low light, with better results in some scenes compared to previous flagships like Apple's iPhone 11 Pro Max. In portrait mode, the Pixel 4a has one of the most intense depth of field effects of any smartphone. While it produces a pleasant and striking effect in the background, the lack of a depth sensor sometimes results in depth estimation errors with obvious edge artifacts. When shooting video, the Pixel 4a produces bright, vivid color with good exposure and fast, stable, and accurate autofocus. The Google Pixel 4a would be a good choice for you if you're looking for a budget phone that takes great photos and is simple to use. The two cameras on the Pixel 4a may not offer a lot of flexibility at this price point, but they do offer an easy point-and-shoot experience that lets you take some great photos without a lot of effort. Next, we have the Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max, our choice for best camera phone for most people. The iPhone 12 Pro Max camera is touted as the iPhone camera to get in 2021. While the iPhone 12 Pro and others below in the lineup are holding their own, the difference in the 12 Pro Max is noticeable enough to make it worth the extra money. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has the most impressive imaging capabilities to date in an Apple phone. The camera array is made up of a primary 12 megapixel sensor, coupled with a 26mm equivalent f1.6 aperture lens, face detection autofocus, and sensor shift OIS that stabilizes the camera's sensor instead of the lens. The ultra-wide camera uses a 12-megapixel sensor with a 26mm equivalent f1.6 aperture lens, sensor shift OIS, and PDAF. The telephoto camera has a 12-megapixel sensor with a 65mm equivalent f2.2 aperture lens, PDAF, and OIS LiDAR depth sensing. There's an LED flash for fill or low-light shooting, and video can be captured in 4K with Dolby Vision HDR at 24, 30, or 60 FPS iPhones generally offer very good imaging performance, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is no different. Exposure is accurate, especially on portraits, even down to very low light levels. Color is pleasing, and especially indoors where a slightly warm rendering often makes your subject's skin tone more flattering. Autofocus is particularly fast and accurate, and despite the larger sensor, the main camera also maintains enough depth of field to keep everyone in focus in group shots. Overall detail is very good and is preserved even if light levels drop. The Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max puts the power of great photography in your hands, with imagery that's sharp and automatically well enhanced. The camera array is versatile and decked out with some awesome features like sensor shift OIS and OIS LiDAR depth sensing. The shots you can get from the 12 Pro Max can be pretty amazing, but it comes at a hefty price point. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, our choice for best overall camera phone. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has an incredible camera that's among the best you'll find on any of today's top-end phones. It's capable of taking amazing photos and can even rival and surpass the iPhone 12 Pro Max in its overall image quality. The camera array consists of a primary 108 megapixel 1 over 1.33 inch sensor, coupled with a 24 mm equivalent f1.8 aperture lens with optical image stabilization and phase detection autofocus, an ultra wide camera with a 12 megapixel 1 over 2.55 inch sensor, and 13 mm equivalent f2.2 aperture lens with dual pixel AF. Two telephoto cameras, each with a 10 megapixel sensor, dual pixel AF and OIS, with one camera having a 72 mm equivalent f2.4 aperture lens, and the other having a 240 mm equivalent f4.9 aperture lens that allows for extremely long 100x telezooming. 
For video, the S21 Ultra shoots at 4320p at 24fps, 2160p at 60 or 30fps, and supports HDR10+. Exposure is pretty accurate and the dynamic range is wide, showing good detail in both highlight and shadow areas of the frame. The colors look nice and skin tones are pleasant when shooting in reasonable light levels, but saturation and overall detail decreases in low light. The autofocus system also slows down in low light and high contrast scenes, but otherwise the S21 Ultra delivers accurately focused images. For video, the S21 Ultra delivers stable exposure and fairly wide dynamic range as long as you're shooting with adequate light. The autofocus keeps things sharp, and thanks to a 60fps frame rate, motion looks mostly nice and smooth, but in low light conditions, the AF tends to slow down. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra would be a great choice for you if you want a lot of variety in the way you shoot. The dual telephoto lenses have incredible zoom capabilities up to 100 times that will let you capture things you never could before. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. Next we have the Google Pixel 5, our selection for best AI camera phone. The Google Pixel 5 uses the same camera sensor and f1.7 lens as the Pixel 4a. However, the Pixel 5 improves on the camera array with both a wide and an ultra-wide camera. There's a standard array 12.2 megapixel 1 over 2.55 inch sensor coupled to a 27mm equivalent f1.7 lens with dual pixel face detection autofocus and optical image stabilization. Google has equipped the Pixel 5 with a second 16 megapixel 1 over 3.09 inch sensor alongside a 16.5mm equivalent f2.2 aperture lens. Detail and texture are good, and ultra-wide shots feature nice exposure and color. It's surprisingly good at close range, but when you extend the zoom in excess of 2x magnification, detail starts to suffer. For night portraits, the flash performs quite well and low-light landscapes are acceptable. Switching to portrait mode, bokeh simulation is also respectable, rendering a pleasant effect. When it comes to shooting video, the Pixel 5 excels at autofocus and stabilization. Videos look best in better lighting where exposure, color, and detail are good, as low-light conditions produce some underwhelming exposure and obvious color casts. In good lighting conditions, the Pixel 5 performs well in both indoor and outdoor situations, where accurate white balance and nice rendering ensure generally vibrant color and pleasant skin tones that appear warmer compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Autofocus is close to the top performing devices, and it's fast too. In most cases, there's minimal delay for the Pixel 5 to find focus, even under challenging HDR situations. The only exception, again, is in very low-light conditions where there are slower reaction times on handheld shots. Footage still turns out with sharp focus, despite the slight delay. Under normal indoor conditions, the autofocus is super fast and highly accurate. The Google Pixel 5 would be a great choice for you if you really enjoy shooting and editing photos. It may not have a wide array of rear cameras, but its photo editing software is superb. Finally, the OnePlus 9 Pro, our pick for great flagship camera phone. The 9 Pro is OnePlus's 2021 flagship model, and through a partnership with the iconic photography company Hasselblad, the 9 Pro boasts a quad camera that includes standard-wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto modules, as well as a 2-megapixel monochrome sensor, and features a 48-megapixel 2x2 OCL quad Bayer sensor. The OnePlus 9 Pro gets most of the basics right when it comes to photography. Dynamic range is particularly impressive, with bright highlights often well-preserved when shooting in high-contrast conditions. Target exposures of people can be a little low in strongly backlit shots, but for the most part the 9 Pro delivers nice exposure. White balance is fairly neutral in most shots, and colors are generally well saturated. Detail is particularly impressive in outdoor shots, and even as the light levels drop, the 9 Pro is able to retain detail, even in fine structures. The ultra-wide camera has a 14mm equivalent focal length and f2.2 aperture. For the ultra-wide, OnePlus has switched to the larger Sony IMX766 50MP 1 over 1.56 inch sensor which allows more light to pass through, giving it an edge over its competitors. The telecamera utilizes an 8-megapixel sensor with a 77mm equivalent f2.4 aperture lens that's equal to a 3 times optical zoom, which is decent but falls short of the longer ranges available on competitors like the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. For video, the OnePlus 9 Pro comes with 8K recording at 30fps. The results of OnePlus's collaboration with Hasselblad on the 9 Pro to optimize color calibration and the design of the camera app are clear to see, with images having more lifelike colors than previous OnePlus phones. The camera also offers a powerful set of manual controls, but also works well when shooting in auto mode, making it a strong point-and-shoot camera and a good choice for you.
Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products in the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon.